हेलो एवरीवन मेरा नाम है फजल आप देख रहे हैं एम एफ ए सिविल इंजीनियरिंग टॉपिक इज लिक्विड इन रिलेटिव इक्विलिबिलियम बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ प्रेशर फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द बाउंड्री ऑफ द कंटेनर विच कंटेनिंग ऑफ फ्लूड एंड द कंटेनर इज अलाउड टू मूव विद कॉन्स्टेंट एक्सेलरेशन आइर इन वर्टिकल और इन हॉर्जेंटल डायरेक्शन इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ अ हाइड्रोस्टेटिक फोर्स ऑन इ सर्फेसेज वी हैव लर्न अ प्रेशर फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन अ डिफरेंट सर्फेसेज वेन द लिक्विड इज इन कॉन्टेक्ट विद द सर्फेस and the liquid is in a state of the rest in this case when the container containing a liquid is allowed to move with a constant acceleration initially there is a relative motion between the liquid particles and the boundary of the container and also the free surface of the liquid is start changing due to the influence of the acceleration after a certain time the liquid occupy another position in which there is a no relative motion between the liquid particle and the boundary of the container the and the shear force and the shear stresses acting on the boundary is equal to the zero now the liquid is in the in the rest in this final position now the law of the hydrostatic can be applicable to determine the pressure force acting on any point of the liquid depend on the direction of the acceleration there are two cases first case is the container moving with a constant acceleration in a horizontal direction and the second case the container moving with a constant acceleration in a vertical direction let's understand every cases one by one first case the container moving with the constant acceleration in a horizontal direction now consider a container which containing a liquid of a free surface as a ab when the container is in rest condition now when the container is allowed to move with a constant acceleration in the rightward direction in this figure after a certain time the liquid occupy another position in which the ab is a free surface of the liquid due to the influence of the acceleration the liquid get rise at the back boundary of the container and similarly the liquid get fall to the front boundary of the container now the free surface equation can be determined by considering the forces which are acting on the free surface of the liquid now consider a small element on the free surface of the liquid there is a three forces which are acting on this element first is a pressure force which are exerted by the surrounding molecule which is acting vertically or the normal to the element c second is the weight of the element which acting vertically down direction and third is the acceleration force acting on this fluid element p is a pressure force acting normal to the surface ma is a acceleration force acting horizontal direction and mg is the weight of the element at vertically down direction for the equilibrium of this element the all the forces which are acting on the horizontal as well as in the vertical direction should be equal to the zero now resolve this pressure force in the horizontal and the vertical component if this angle is theta then this angle is also theta now the p can be resolved in the two component horizontal component is a p sin theta and vertical component is a p sin theta due to the condition of the equilibrium the force pressure force acting in the horizontal direction should be constant now the pressure force which are acting on the horizontal horizontal direction is a p sin theta plus ma is equal to the zero since p sin theta is equal to the ma minus of ma equation 1 now the summation of force which are acting along the y direction is also equal to zero now the vertical force acting on the element c r p cos theta act vertical upward direction upward direction consider as a positive then the weight is acting down direction then it is a negative is equal to the zero now p cos theta is equal to the m into g equation 2 by dividing equation 1 by 2 we got p sin theta upon p cos theta is equal to m a upon m g now m m get cancel p p get cancel sin theta upon cos theta is a tan theta is equal to minus a upon g this is the expression for the free surface of the liquid when the li container is moving with a constant acceleration negative sign indicate there is a reduce in the slope let's see the expression for the pressure in the final position of this liquid consider a small element of height h and the cross section area is a da now the forces which are acting on this fluid elements are first is the pressure force exerted by the atmospheric pressure on the top of this element atmospheric pressure force that is equal to the p0 into da second is a pressure force exerted by the fluid element which is normal to the surface at vertically upward direction f 
P pressure force that is equal to the P into D. Now the pressure force which are acting on the left side and the right side of these small element will cancel each other because the direction is opposite. Now the third force is the weight of this element which act vertically down direction. The weight is equal to the rho G into H multiplied by the area. For the equilibrium of this element, all the vertical forces acting on this element equal to the zero. Now, for the equilibrium summation of force along the y is equal to the zero. Now, first is the atmospheric pressure P0 into dA plus this force act vertically down direction. Now, P dA act vertically upward direction since direction is minus into P into dA weight at direction vertically in ground direction then it is a plus rho g h into d a which is equal to the zero now taking a d a common and dividing this equation by the d a we got p zero minus p plus rho g h is equal to the zero now taking p minus p zero to the other side of the equal then it is equal to the p minus P0 is equal to the rho G H. P0 is the atmospheric pressure and the P is a pressure at any point in a liquid. Now this gives the value of the gauge pressure measurement of a pressure above the atmospheric pressure is equal to the rho G H or also the gauge pressure P is equal to the rho G H. This is the expression for the pressure acting on any point of the fluid when the fluid is in relative equilibrium. Let the pressure force acting on the rarer side of the container as a F1 which is equal to the pressure force which act normal to these sides multiplied by the area of this side that is a dA. Pressure force is equal to the rho G into H. H is a height of action of the pressure force which is the height h1 by 2 multiplied by the area is a h1 and let b is a width of this container now it is equal to the rho g h1 by 2 which act at the center of this h1 multiplied by h1 into b f1 is equal to the rho g h1 square into b divided by 2 now similarly the pressure force acting on the frontal side is equal to the F2 is equal to the rho g h multiplied by the h2 into width. Similarly the, this is equal to the rho g h2 by 2 into h into b. It is equal to the rho g h2 square by 2 into width of the container. Now, Second case, the container moving with a constant acceleration in the vertical direction. Consider a container which containing a liquid of free surface as a PQ. Now the container is allowed to move in a vertically upward direction with a constant acceleration A. The expression for the pressure can be determined by considering a small elemental prism that is a A, B, C, D of height H and the cross section area is a DA. Now the force acting on this elemental prism are First is a pressure force exerted by the atmospheric pressure on the side AB. Now the pressure force due to the atmosphere is equal to the pressure multiplied by the cross section area that is a DA. Now second is the pressure force exerted by the fluid element on the cross section area of a CD act vertically upward direction. Since the second is a pressure force or on the CD which is equal to the pressure into D. Now third is the weight of this elemental prism which is equal to the rho g into height of this prism multiplied by the cross section area. Now the pressure force which are acting on the sides AC and the BD are both having a equal magnitude but in opposite direction since these forces cancel each other. Now the total forces are first is a atmospheric force, second is a pressure force and third is a weight. According to the Newton's second of motion, the force acting on this elemental prism is equal to the mass into acceleration in the same direction. 
now it is written as a force is equal to the mass into acceleration by putting the all the force value in this equation we got p0 into da that is a pressure force con considering the upward vertically downward force as a negative now the pressure force this force is at vertically upward direction since it is a pos positive then p into d similarly weight at vertically downward direction since it is a negative rho g h into d a is equal to mass into acceleration now by taking a, a common d a we turn this p as a first p minus p0 minus rho g h is equal to mass is equal to the density into volume of this prism that is a volume that is a d a multiplied by the height into acceleration d a d a get cancel that is p minus p0 is equal to minus rho g h is equal to rho into h into a taking this value to the another side of the equal that is p minus p0 is equal to the rho h a minus get plus rho g h this p minus p0 it is a gauge pressure the pressure measure about the atmospheric pressure it is called as a gauge pressure rho h a plus rho g h this is the expression for the pressure at any point in a fluid when the container is moving with a constant vertical acceleration now in the second case when the acceleration when the container is moving in the constant acceleration in a vertically downward direction now in this case the direction of the force that is a ma is become a downward direction since it is a negative now the other forces that is the pressure forces due to the fluid element in the cd is at vertical upward direction and the pressure force due to the atmosphere is at vertical downward direction since the direct notation for the direction of the all the forces are same but in the sec in the case of the acceleration is a downward direction it is become minus now this value that is a rho g h that is a pressure force at any point that is a gauge pressure is equal to the rho g h minus rho into h into acceleration in case when the container is moving with a constant acceleration in a downward direction the pressure force at any point is equal to the rho g h minus rho g rho h a